Now to some big space news. Let's switch it up for a moment. It was announced today NASA is unveiling when astronauts will once again launch from American soil. This is huge. The agency is targeting the launch a little more than a month from now, and visitors are expected to come to Cape Canaveral for this historic event. But as News 6's James Barbero explains, there is still a lot of confusion when it comes to how the coronavirus will impact this big day. The final liftoff of Atlantis. Nine years since the end of the space shuttle program, the biggest mission in a decade will also start at Pad 39A. Today, this Falcon 9 stands ahead of an uncrewed SpaceX mission next week. On May 27th, astronauts Bob Behnken and Doug Hurley are scheduled to fly to the International Space Station on a brand new rocket. It's been nine long years. That the American space program has given billions of dollars to Russia to get astronauts in space. Even during this pandemic, a public affairs officer tells us coronavirus will not stop NASA and SpaceX from reaching the pinnacle of the commercial crew program. The American space program is considered mission essential. Our teams have been working to get this mission ready to go throughout this entire time, while all the time making sure that we're adhering to the social distancing guidelines, we have protective equipment. And just a month from the astronauts getting on board, Brevard County prepares for what under normal circumstances would be a crowd of spectators in the hundreds of thousands. We've got a lot to be planning for, but I can assure you that the crude launch will now move to the top of our conversations. Many of the most popular places to watch a rocket launch, like the Kennedy Space Center Visitor Complex, they're all currently closed. Of course, a lot can change in a month, but for right now, the county advises that if you can find an open location and you're able to maintain a distance, then enjoy the launch. At NASA's Kennedy Space Center, I'm James Sparvero, getting results, News 6.